Now let me guess, Excel is giving you this error message and you don't know how to fix it. Don't worry, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to get rid of this error message. The error message says Excel found a problem with one or more formula references in this worksheet. Check that the cell references, range names, defined names, and links to other workbooks in your formulas are all correct. So as soon as I opened up this old workbook, this error message popped up. And it keeps popping up every now and then, even after I X out of this or I click on OK. So how to fix this? So first of all, the reason for this error is most likely, as mentioned here, is some named formulas or some incorrect references. So I'm going to give you four solutions to fix this. And one of these four is almost certainly going to fix this error message in your workbook. So this first solution is go to the ribbon, go to formulas, and then go to name manager and in name manager check if there are any named formulas there in my case there are some named formulas and you can clearly see a reference error in these named formulas and this reference error is almost certainly the reason i'm getting the error message in my workbook so there are multiple options one option is to just delete these named formulas however there's a probability that these named formulas are being used in some of your charts for example in chart one or chart two they might be used so the alternative is just to fix it so some references are missing so i'm going to just quickly go ahead and fix those references as you can see to some reason these references are missing and this could be due to various reasons such as the file getting corrupted or perhaps a macro enabled workbook being shared without first zipping it these are some of the reasons why this reference error might be appearing so i'm going to quickly fix this Okay, I just fixed the first one. We just need to update the reference here, which was for some reason lost. I click on the checkbox here. I'm going to quickly uh, fix the other five as well. I'm going to resume the video after they're all fixed. And there we go. I corrected all the references. Again, the alternative is to delete the references if you're certain that the name formulas are not being used. Otherwise, the best and the wisest thing to do is to quickly go and correct them and apply the correct ranges as required, just like I've done right now. So now that I'm all done and I've saved the name ranges and I'm no longer getting the reference error in any of these name formulas, I'm gonna click on close. And as you can see, I'm no longer getting the error, but just to make sure, I'm just gonna close out of this and reopen this workbook to see if I'm gonna get this error upon reopening it. So I'm gonna X out, I'm gonna close this workbook, and now I'm going to reopen it. And there we have it. As you can see, upon reopening the workbook, that error message no longer pops up. And this shows that the reference error has been successfully removed. And we no longer have that reference issue. And since the reference number error is no longer showing in our named formulas, this error message is no longer appearing. Now, this will almost certainly resolve your issue, but there's a chance you might not have any named formulas in your workbook and you're still getting this issue. And if that's the case, there are a few other solutions as well. One solution is to go to the ribbon, go to the data and look for edit links. Now, if your workbook is not linked to any other workbooks, like mine is not, chances are you will not find that option. But if your workbook has links to other workbooks, you will see that option under the data section somewhere over here. But in my case, I don't have it. So that's the second alternative for fixing this error message if you haven't fixed it already. And the third one is going to formulas and clicking on show formulas. Now, this is a good option if your workbook has lots of formulas. This way, by clicking on show formulas, Excel will display the formulas themselves as opposed to the outcome of the formulas. And this way, you can do a control F and search for reference error or name errors. And you can either fix or delete those errors, if any, and that will solve the error message. So chances are, if you have a lot of formulas, you're getting some reference errors. So go to formulas, show formulas, and that's the third alternative. And the final method for solving this error is to go to formulas and go to error checking in this section and click on error checking. I just did it, as you can see, and you get a message saying the error check is complete for the entire sheet and click on OK. 
So these are four things that you can do. And once again, I'll repeat them. First one is going to Formula's name manager and seeing if there are any reference errors there and fixing or deleting them. The second one is checking for external links and that's done by going to data and checking if there are any external links, possibly deleting those links. The third method is going to formulas and making all formulas in the workbook visible by clicking on show formulas as shown over here and removing all possible reference errors and if none of these worked then try to do a error checking by going to formulas error checking so these are the four things that i would do if i was getting that error and i would do it in exactly that order as you can see in my case just fixing the errors in the name manager fixed the problem for me let me know if you were able to resolve the error using these four methods and also let me know which one if any of them of course worked for you i look forward to all comments in the comment section i hope you found this video useful and got some value out of it if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up also if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future videos see you soon